Good morning, Western North Carolina. It is 21 degrees out here in Canton. Uh, my name is Brian Cooper. I work at Ken Wilson Ford over here right off I-40. I figured with the cold start this morning, why not show you some sports cars I'd like to highlight. Alrighty, to start off this morning's Coupes cars, tucked away here with our uh, sedans and, and compact cars, I wanted to point out this 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Now, what I like about this car is this is actually a sport Elantra. This has the turbo engine. I do believe it's a 2.0 liter. This thing is really nice. Black paint, black interior, black leather interior. You can see it has the sport wheels with the sportier tires. Uh, even if you compare it next to this other Elantra, which you can tell is the same body style, uh, there's definitely some extra cladding. Uh, there's side skirts on the... Uh, sport Elantra that don't exist on the regular. It almost looks like it's a little bit lowered. Just a really nice looking car. You can see it's got the dual exhaust tips back here, which looking at the other one, I don't even see exhaust tips on. But as we go inside it here, this is where the magic is. So, plenty of room in the back seat, much more than I was expecting out of a small four-door car. I could actually fit back there okay. Nice uh, leather on the doors, leather on the seats. Um, I like these little uh, patterned uh, inserts here on the door sills. And as we come inside the car, this is my favorite feature right here. This is a stick shift Hyundai Elantra Turbo. So this is probably one of the best front wheel drive kind of fun sporty cars you could buy right now. If I'm not mistaken, this car has right around 160 horsepower which really isn't that bad. It might even be higher than that. But as we look through here, it's got nice like kind of carbon fiber trim here. Uh, it's just a really well put together car. Uh, this is, again, a 2017. It's got the touch screen, just super clean. It almost feels like a European car with the way these seats are bolstered and with the, the red stitching on here. Uh, but this is definitely uh, one of my picks, one of the ones that I'm kind of confused why it's not sold yet because it's definitely one that I would own. So I figured we'd start off with our sports cars here and we'll move on to the next offering. So as we travel over here, next thing I want to point out is this Audi TT, which is a 2012, extremely low miles. I think this has right around 50,000 miles, maybe just a little bit north of that. This is a convertible. This is an automatic. It's in super great shape all around. I really like the price on this. We have it priced for less than 16 grand, which if you're looking for kind of a, you know, fairly inexpensive, but still kind of affordable European sports car, uh, these are really not that bad. These are very easy to drive. It's got the power folding top, of course. If we come around, it's just a, a good looking car in really good shape. We'll go ahead and hop inside it here. Alrighty, we are now inside the Audi TT. We'll go ahead and crank it up. This is the only one out of the lineup that does have a keyed ignition. There we go, super quiet. This one you almost can't even hear it's running when it's running, it's so quiet. What I really like about this one, I'm always, uh, a fan of two-tone interior especially when it's leather and this is actually a leather and suede combination here which i really really like the seats are pretty wide on the bottom here but still have really nice bolstering around your thighs and bolstering around your hips here um so it's an extremely comfortable car it has as the top goes up and down we do have the windscreen which is powered we do actually have the power folding top which is the one touch actuation. You literally just, well, I have to hold the button, I believe. But you can see no latches you have to undo, none of that. Let's go ahead and put this top back up. And I'd say it's pretty quick for a power folding top. And it's in, it's locked in. Again, this is an automatic, I believe this is the DSG transmission, so you can throw it into sport mode and kind of do your bump manual shifts there. Uh, but this is really great. This is another one that I, 
you know, this is a really expensive car when it was sold brand new. And now with only, you know, about 50, what does it say, 51,000 miles on it, this car can be had for a bargain. Um, I even like this kind of, it's got a really nice leather padded uh, uh, cover here on the uh, e-brake handle. Since it is right there where your hand would be, it makes a really nice kind of armrest. And even for me, again, as a tall guy, I'm actually pretty comfortable in here. So this is the second sports car that I wanted to point out for you this morning. Let's get the windows up on this thing and we'll check out the next one. All right, so I figured I would start with two European or two uh, import sports cars. Obviously both are of the four cylinder variety. And then I figured I'd mix it up and go into the two American sports cars that we have here, both of the V8. Uh, both this Dodge and this Mustang are both 2017s. They both have pretty low miles. This one is below 40 currently. I think it's like 38,000 miles currently. This Mustang here is even nicer. This is a 17 as well with less than 18,000 miles on it. But we'll come back over here to this Challenger. This Challenger is an RT. So of course it is the V8. It has black leather interior. Obviously it's got the pinstripes. It's got the badging on the fenders. I think those are the 19 inch wheels that are on it. If you're a Mopar guy, you'll like this one. I love the white. I think it's just super clean. I think white's the next car that I'm gonna have, next car color that I'm going to have. You can see here it's got the deck lid spoiler on the back. Super nice. Let's open this up, show you the inside. So again, as you can see, leather trim everywhere, leather and kind of an aluminum thing going on. Now the difference between these seats and the other cars that I'm looking at this morning is these by far are the most comfortable seats for just sitting on. Even just touching them, the leather is extremely soft and it's super cushiony. There's almost like, I feel like an extra, like where these bolsters would be here, there's almost like extra padding. Um, it's just super soft. And when I sit in it, it's the only sports car in the mix here that rides extremely comfortable. The The seat cushion here on the bottom is just super soft. I mean, I could, I could sit on this thing for hours there's a nice center pocket here. Again, leather and padded. I really like the gauge cluster on this one. It's got that classic feel, but with a little bit of a modern touch. We've got a digital center screen there. We've got the digital screen here. And obviously this has all of your uh, connected device controls here. I always love when you turn these things on. I love watching the gauges dance. So we'll cut it off, cut it back on. I just love watching that. It's just kind of a cool thing to watch those two gauges go dancing. Now, no sunroof on any of these cars that we're showing you this morning, but let's be real, it's a sports car. You know, you can get a convertible if you want that open top. But this thing is nice. Just very, very clean inside. I like the textured finish. This almost feels like a speaker mesh. Um, kind of like that, maybe like a grill mesh. It definitely has a little bit of a um, performance feel to it as well. Definitely a nice, big, comfortable car inside here. This is a good mix of wanting to have some performance as well as uh, comfort. So we'll cut this one off. Go to my favorite one of the bunch, and that is this 2017 Ford Mustang. Now we already did do a little quick walk around on this. This is one of the newest cars that we have on the lot. This was just traded in within the last week. Um, and this thing is just gorgeous. I absolutely love these black wheels. There's almost even, there's almost even a slight flake to it, if you kind of look. It's just a very hint of a flake in the wheels, and it is just super nice looking. I'm a huge fan of this uh, current body style of the Mustangs, and I just think these look really good. These are gonna look really good for years to come. One of the first Mustangs I would be extremely excited to own. And as we come around, it's just a really nice GT all around. This is, of course, is a V8 car. That has the small deck lid spoiler here, which you can see there. I just, I love the taillights. I love the integration of all the bodywork. And I even, I, the interior on this is probably one of my favorites as well. Now I like the screens in the newer 19 and 20. 
Mustangs because they kind of replaced some of the gauge clusters for screens. But this has just got a really classic look. These seats are awesome. It is cloth interior here, but these are extremely nice, extremely uh, comfortable, powered bucket seats, as you can see here. We do still have kind of the GT rear seats, which I don't think I'm gonna be climbing into anytime soon. But as we hop into this thing, of course we have the kind of uh, aluminum trim everywhere. The little nuances that I love about stuff on the Mustang here is I, obviously this is a classic throwback design here, but having the kind of double dashes here where it's kind of separated here uh, with the two humps. Uh, there's like kind of eyebrows. I think that's just awesome, especially with the way the vents are integrated into that. I think is great. Obviously right here on the dashboard, you know, they're proud of their heritage, you know, since 1964, um, that's really cool. And then as we crank this thing up, it's just a good, good classic V8 sound. Just stuff as you kind of go around. I even just like the, uh, the level of detail that they have here on the gauge cluster. Like, you know, they actually says revolutions per minute. I mean, they could have just put RPMs. They could have just left that off. It says revolutions per minute. Again, we do have a center screen, uh, which I'll point out here in a second. But as we go over here to the uh, speedometer, it says ground speed on there. <laughs> I mean, again, you could have just put MPH and KPH. You know, you could have just left it blank. And uh, it's like almost a tiny little Easter egg where somebody's like, hey, let's put uh, ground speed on there because, you know, it's like an airplane or like an aircraft, but it's just on the ground. So I think that's really neat. I was kind of playing around with the screen on this and as I cycle through some of these warnings here, I like once I go into this gauge mode, this is a uh, factory with this thing. It has really cool stuff. So you've got your normal stuff with your TPMS. Looks like we might need to add a little bit of air with the colder weather here. But as you go through into your, uh, your gauge display here, look at all this information that you get. You can see your air fuel, which I think is crazy. So it's got like a wide band oxygen sensor, uh, you know, your cylinder temperature, your inlet air, uh, oil pressure, which you don't get a full PSI rating, but you still get to see, you know, if it's low, higher or, or in good shape. Oil temperature, you got your transmission temperature, which is awesome. Obviously battery voltage. If you were to ever boost this thing, you could actually watch your vacuum slash boost and see kind of what you're making there. Uh, I think that's just really cool. I just, I love little details like that. I think the interior on this just is just awesome. This is one of the, one of the bucket list cars for me to own as a GT or honestly, they've got some really nice EcoBoost packages, but this is just really nice overall. And especially with the low miles, and I believe the price is extremely fair on this as well. For anybody that's looking for a red Mustang, this is definitely the one that I would look at. All right, folks, and that'll do it for today's uh, Coops Cars. I plan to upload about one to two of these every single week. Uh, I'm gonna kind of offset these videos with some of the kind of longer in-depth review, kind of feature videos, and those will uh, more specifically be on the newer cars. Uh, we just did one the other day on the Escape. The next one will be on the Explorer, uh, which I'm pretty excited about that one. I'm currently editing. It takes a little bit of time to go through some of the different video clips on that. Um, I think my next one's probably gonna be on the Ford Ranger. So be to, uh, stay tuned for uh, Explorer and Ranger videos if you wanna see more about those. Um, and then I am gonna do one more Coupes Cars this week and it's gonna be specifically on budget cars. That would be budget cars uh, that I think, uh, are, they're under 15,000 to start and uh, they are good kind of like family commuter uh, or even possibly ride share like Uber cars, things like that. Um, so I will probably upload that Saturday morning and I'll probably upload the Explorer review either this afternoon uh, or Friday morning sometime. So stay tuned for that. And of course, if you saw anything in this video that you might be interested in, uh, or if you wanna know more about any of these uh, four cars, again, we start out with the Hyundai, then we move to the Audi, then we had the Challenger, and then we had the Mustang. So if you have questions about any of those or anything else that you see on the website or anything you saw in the background of the video, definitely hit me up, send me a text message carrier pigeon whatever's best for you and uh you know clearly we can get you out here and get you test driving one of these things but again thank you i'm going to get back inside where it's warm have a great day